Sage CRM presents information in several formats including lists and grids. In this tutorial, we'll show you how easy it is to customize lists and grids to present the information that's most important to you. So let's jump right in and get started. Let's first take a look at some examples of lists and grids. To see examples of lists, we'll use the recent list to jump over to Eurolandia, one of the companies in our database. On the Company tab group here, you'll find information presented in lists under several tabs including Communications, Opportunities, Cases, and People. Now let's take a look at Grids, and to see examples, we'll open the Finder and select Person. And if we go ahead and hit Find, the search results will be returned in a grid. So to summarize, lists are what you find under Tabs, and Grids present the results of searches. So now let's take a closer look at this grid, and what we mention about grids also will apply to lists. Notice that the grid's default sorting is by last name, but you can also sort the grid by any column that displays an underlined heading. So we can sort by company name by clicking the column header, and repeated clicking toggles between descending and ascending. Note that the little triangle icon is displayed on the active sort by column, and it also shows the sort direction, ascending versus descending. Also notice that some of the information is hyperlinked, so if we click on a person's last name, we're taken to their record, and to return to our grid, we'll hit the back arrow. Similarly, clicking on a company takes us to the company's record, and again, we'll return using the back arrow. And clicking on an email address allows us to send an email directly from the grid. So now let's look at how we can modify the grid to present additional information that we'd like to see. Let's suppose that we'd like our person search grid to also display a city column. To enable this, we'll click Administration and note that you'll need administrator rights to access this area. Now we'll go to Customization, Person, and the List tab. Here you'll find all of the grids and lists associated with the person entity. The one we're looking for is the person grid, which we'll click to edit. On the left side are the columns currently displayed in the grid, and on the right is where we set the properties for each column. So let's begin by adding a city column, which we'll do by opening the field list, and we're looking for address city, which we should find near the top. Setting allow order by to yes will allow us to sort the grid by city. Leaving order by descending blank is the same as setting it to yes, so we'll leave this setting as is. If we set it to No, then our initial click on the City column header would sort the column starting from Z to A alphabetically. Note that this setting does not make the City column the default sort column for the grid. There aren't many reasons not to show the column header name. One might be if the name is unusually long, in which case you might set this to No. We'll set it to Yes. Default Order By controls the sorting of the grid the first time the grid is displayed during a session. If you have multiple columns set to Yes, then the first column in the grid with this setting will control the order. We'll set it to No. And moving up to Hyperlink, you can set it to jump to a number of different areas in Sage CRM, and we'll set it to open the Person Summary screen when clicked. And we'll want our city information to be centered in the column. And finally, Show Select as GIF applies to information that comes from selection list fields. An example would be the traffic light icons associated with service level agreements in Sage CRM. It doesn't apply here, so we'll leave it as no, and now we'll click Add. And using the up arrow, let's position the city column between company name and phone number. Since we made a change to what is now an existing field, we need to click Update. And now one final edit. Let's set the company column as the default order by for the grid. And now we'll click Update and Save. Now let's view our grid modifications. In order to see the change we made to the default grid sorting, we'll need to log out and back in again. Now we'll hit the Finder, and let's change territory to US and Canada, since the sample data for cities in our demo system is more complete in this territory. Now we'll click Find, and here's our customized grid. Notice that the default sorting is now by company name, and we now have a city column, which we can also sort by, 
and we've also hyperlinked it to the person summary screen. And that completes our tutorial. So to recap, we've shown you how to customize the information presented in grids on your search screens and lists on the main entities in Sage CRM. Now go give it a try on your system. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage CRM system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.